to get into the septic tank business, thought I'd just give you some pointers on things that will really help you um, to get things going. Or, as I said, maybe you're looking to um, install a septic tank for the first time, maybe you've never done it before, whatever. You'll find this broadcast of some help <laughs> and benefit, I hope, right, <laughs> if I can wake up. Okay, so septic tank installation. Okay, so there's some basics that you need to know, okay, when costing uh, and pricing for a septic tank installation job. And um, there's certain things that will help you, certain things that will hinder you. So let me give you some of the, the top things that I kind of try and work out when I'm installing, okay, a septic tank. So number one, we've talked about this in previous videos, so I'm not going to kind of, um, you know, dwell on it today. But nevertheless, it is certain, certainly one of the main considerations when you're looking to install a septic tank, all right? And that is, if I put it in red, actually, if we put it in here, in red, number one, there we go, that's nice and big, isn't it? Okay, so you have to decide whether you're gonna put an onion septic tank in or a low profile, and I'll put shallow dig there, shallow dig bullet tank in. Again, I'm not going to go into this in, 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 in too much detail because we went into it yesterday in, in a video that I did. But the point being is this. It's about two things, right? When you come to put an onion and a low profile tank in, it's the it's the it's the depth. In fact, if I put it in, in red for you, you'll be able to see this more clearly, right? And I can't stress to you how important this is, right? All right. So it's about the depth and width of hole. That's number one, right? But number two, this is even more important, right? It's going to be the depth of the soak away. A and B. All right, so depending on what tank you go for will determine the depth and the width of the hole, obviously. Maybe you're thinking, well, obviously, but just bear with me, right? But then that also determines and dictates the depth of the soak away. Now, this is really, really, really important. On an onion septic tank, the outlet pipe is a minimum, a minimum of one meter or three foot below the grass, and that's a lot, right? That is a lot. So if I just draw this out for you, so there's the grass, there. The depth of the soak away can make or break your installation, to be honest with you. So, how much room have we got? Okay, so let me just show you this, and you'll get my point straight away. So let's say that's your onion tank, okay? And let's say that's your outlet pipe. Now, that doesn't look a lot as it stands. It doesn't look a lot down, but let's say this depth here is... Um, three foot plus so that's what it's like on the onion tank now for the low profile tank let me give you an example all right this two foot difference the the depth of the hole on the shallow one can literally be anywhere from six inches to a foot below the grass. So straight away, your soak away is going to be two foot less 
in depth, right? Which is a hell of a difference because once you start getting to three, four, five, six, seven foot, you start hitting water tables, you start hitting clay and all kinds of problems like this. And this is on a, a small onion tank, right? On, a, on, a, on, a, on an onion tank the next size up. Right, let me give it to you on the next one up because most people, to be honest, they normally go for either a 2,800 uh, litre um, onion tank or they go for the next one up, which is 3,600 litre, right? And the soak away, right, so if you imagine that's where the curves start on there, I'll put the in letters there. Then on, but the shallow tank. always stays the same all right so this can start going down from three foot to flipping six foot in depth below the grass three to six foot plus in depth now that is you may as well be digging to australia when you start so it's a serious consideration right the difference between an onion and a low profile tank because it determines so many factors that we're going to see in a minute but the first thing you need to weigh out is how far down you're going to be putting your soak away the whole septic tank should be based on that to be honest with you um even on these onion tanks it may be even worth cutting some of the net down so you can still lift it higher up towards the grass. But just coming back to this, because I don't want to linger too much on it, as I said, because I did a video on it yesterday. But the consideration should be the depth, depth and width of the hole, but more importantly, the depth of the soak away. You have to, and then you can base everything on that the whole installation can literally be based on that okay so personally personally i love low profile septic tanks because you literally the soak away starting six six inches to a foot below the grass so you're constructing the soak away in the topsoil right um which just means in 99 percent of cases you don't need a percolation test because so uh, topsoil is the best medium to put soakaways in because if you think about the amount of rain that falls on topsoil and then just drains away into the rivers and seas that's that's how it, it, it is it, it's it's such a brilliant medium and if you can tap into that medium then the water will just drain away naturally percolation tests came into uh uh, existence because of the depth of the outlet pipe from onion tanks they're getting so far down it was taking so long to drain away that you have to start calculating if it was possible in certain scenarios or whatever so you need number one determine whether you want an onion tank or a low profile tank and that will then determine all right number two soak away what type of soak away what are you going to use? Oh, there's tons of different soakaways out there. Okay, so let me just give you three examples. You can have a soakaway pit. You can have septic tank. Uh, septic tank. Soakaway crates. Okay, you can have easy drain. And that's like, um, and that's gravel free. Um, they're he like herringbone pipes. You can go for um, the orange uh, underbelly slip pipes. Um, Oh man, you can go for so many things. You can go for clay pipes. You can, uh, number six, you can discharge into a stream. I'll just clarify that bit. Um, it's illegal for a septic tank to discharge directly into a stream, but if you put like a septic tank converter in between the stream and the septic tank, then that cleans the water. The government standard which allows you to discharge straight into a stream okay so so i'll just put the rider on here <laughs> with 
converter. Okay, so don't get people ringing me up screaming saying you're not allowed to discharge straight into a ditch now, but you can if you've got a septic tank converter on. All right, so soak away pits so what is the law okay regarding soak aways because lots of people ring me up they said oh we went on a site and they say you know soak away crates are illegal and you should contact trading standards officers and ring the police if you know anyone selling them yeah 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 lots of companies well there's a couple of companies in particular right on google who love saying stuff like that so you buy their products, right? <laughs> it's all scare tactics and agenda to buy their products and not buy a septic tank, but buy their treatment plants. That's what it's about. But I'm gonna give you unbiased information here, okay? So it's not laced with scare tactics and stuff. The law is simple. The Secretary of State only has two laws that must be complied with, all right? Number one, the Isokaway does not cause Pollution. And number two, drains away properly. That's it. There are two laws in the whole of the United Kingdom for soakaways. But then someone might say, well, hold on, mate. Um, the whole of Section H deals with different points and paragraphs and regulations can i just stay, stop you there they're serving suggestions the secretary of state clearly states that these two laws must be met the whole of the other information and in the bs document and section eight of the building regs are purely guidelines it says that it says all this information is guidelines and it's illegal to enforce it so they're just serving suggestions, which are great. You know, if you've never um, installed a so septic tank or soak away before, then it's a culmination of 30 or 40 years experience of what people have tried, what people find may work for them. Lots of ideas there to keep things, you know, simple and to help you, you know, put an effective septic tank and soak away in. But there's only two laws. Your soak away mustn't cause pollution and it must drain away properly. So you can use a pet if you so wish, but I wouldn't recommend it. Um, only in certain cases um, on a domestic property because of the amount of water that comes from a house. You need something a bit more man enough to cater for dispersing and getting rid of the wastewater. So for me, the septic tank soak away crates and the easy drain are the cream of scientific technology at the moment. All right. Let me just go on to soak away crates. We're not talking about rainwater crates here. Many, many builders, they think, oh, I'm going to use some soak away crates and they'll buy themselves some rainwater crates, right? Because they work out cheaper and they put them in and then the, the soak away fails and six months they have to come and dig it all back up and, and do it again, right? And so that's because septic tank soak away crates and the membrane is different than rainwater crates. So if you want trouble, if you want to save some money, but you want trouble, get some rainwater crates and you just end up having to spend hundreds, thousands of pounds replacing your soak away again. If you want to do it right first time, get some septic tank soak away crates, okay? They're fantastic. They're ideal for um, uh, postage stamp size gardens, medium sized gardens, stuff like that. Next, but no means last, right? Is easy drain. Easy drain is, ah, oh, does what it says on its tin. It's easy. You just got to dig some trenches. You put this easy drain pipe in. In fact, let me just show you this stuff, right? Well, oh man, I've got to show you this stuff. Let me show you this stuff, right? If, if, uh, all right, so hold on, I've got to share my screen here. So uh, let me go on to here. Oh yeah, share screen. So just bear with me a minute because this is all new to me, this stuff. All right, share screen. No, 
All right, here we go. Now just bear with me a second here. So I'm going on to here now. There we go. So I'm to Google. I go W no www.septictank.co.uk. All right, here's my website. Uh, and let me show you this. Okay, so let me scroll down to here. So here's the septic tank soak away crates I was telling you about. So let me just click on there. Right here they are. Here's the soak away crates. Now let me just show you this short video here. I don't know if you can see it. Let's just press play. Septic tank soak away crates are the future of soak away products. Not only are they really, really easy to install, but they're also fully compliant with UK building regs. And so it's no wonder then that septic tank soak away crates are the best selling soak away product in the UK today. All right, so that's the soak away crates, and they really, really are easy to install. Literally, just dig a hole and then literally just fill up, uh, dig a hole, put the membrane in the hole, put the crates on top of the membrane, okay, then uh, fill, put the crates in, and job done. That's literally as 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 hard as it is it, it, it's not hard it's just so easy it's ridiculously easy this is why it takes an hour to put the soak away crates in so look there you go dig a hole put your membrane in put the crates in just they clip together a lot of the uh, septic tank soak away crates now um they come even bigger so there's like you get two that come in one all right, so before they were singly, so if you, if for example, um, say you bought uh, the smallest soak away kit, which would come in eight soak away crates. Now they come, uh, so you'd have eight individual soak away crates, right? But now they come in four, you get four pieces, but each piece is equivalent to two soak away crates. That makes sense. And so there you go, you cover with uh, membrane, job done. And that's, so that, that, that's the septic tank soak away crates. And if you're going to put septic tank soak away crates in, you've got to go for a bullet tank. They're yeah, just because they're just the closer to the to the grass, the better. So let's give you the other one here. Easy drain. Oh, man. This is this is this is amazing to this easy drain. Really is amazing. Right. So let me just show the little video here. This is really good stuff. This is. Easy Drain is an amazing shallow dig, flexible, gravel free soak away system. It's so easy to install. Simply dig a trench and lay down the Easy Drain pipes. They just clip together. Mm. Then just cover the Easy Drain over with topsoil. You can clip together as many branches and junctions as you like. An easy drain also fits into manhole chambers, allowing an easy connection to your septic tank. Easy drain is not only really easy to install, but it also comes with a lifetime guarantee, mm -hmm. allowing your wastewater to soak away simply and naturally. There you go. So that's um, easy drain for you really easy to install things just clip together and uh, so there you go so those are those are two examples of of some amazing um septic tank products so now let me get back to here and let me put it on a full screen oh, hold on there we go i'm back i'm back all right so there you go so that, that how's that for um <laughs> visual aid all right so we got septic tank soak away crates which an easy drain, they're the two best on the market. Am I being biased? No, because it's not called easy drain for nothing. It's because they're just very easy to install. Before, in the old traditional way of doing things, you have to dig flipping heck, loads of trenches, like the size of an acre, and fill them with gravel, and put this sort of in orange underbelly slotted pipe on, and then, you put more shingle on and then, ah, oh, sorry, you put the shingle bed down and you put the orange uh, pipes and the orange pipes were big, long, big, long pipes. Let me just show you if that's the pipe, right? They're these like long orange pipes and underneath them, they've got slits in the underbelly of them. And, uh, oh man. And you put and you put all those pipes down and you clip them together, join them together and they don't clip together. 
and then you put mem uh, then you put shingle on top of them. Yeah, that is right. Actually, then you put membrane on top of them. And then you cover with soil, and it's like a three day job. And you got to get everything um, a dumper truck to do it, or you got to get two lads with a wheelbarrow and do it and tip it in. Ah, oh, and you got to get tons of gravel, and it's flipping expensive. It's long winded. It's a nightmare, and it's not necessary. All right, but that's number four. All right, it's called the herringbone pipe system. The principle of the herringbone is great. But oh, the products are like from the dinosaur era. Clay pipes, well, they were used a lot in the in, in the 50s uh, and the 40s and the 60s. Again, an old traditional way of doing things that people don't do anymore because clay pipes are expensive. They're brittle. They break. They've got no perforations in. And so um, they were functional at the time, but they're just not realistic or practical anymore. And then, as I said, the last one is that you can discharge or um, go directly into a stream. So there are your main two considerations, right, when installing a septic tank. The outlet pipe, okay? So if you're going to take one thing away from everything I've just told you, I've tried to touch all the bases there, but I suppose if you were to take one thing away it would be this. What I would ask this: What is the depth of the <clears throat> outlet pipe? That's the main question I'd ask on about the septic tank. The septic tank that I was buying. What is the depth of the outlet pipe? Once, so let me put you this. If it's three foot to five foot plus, you're in for a hell of a time. Oh, man. Uh, just Let me just leave it at that. Sometimes you can't avoid that scenario you can't and i've had to do many 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 i've been doing this for 20 years I've had to do many septic tank scenarios where i've had to put the ribbon soak away down like you know six foot below the grass it's a nightmare because then the soak away oh god the excavation uh, i mean because you have to have a fall on the soak away you can you're starting to get down to seven eight nine ten foot deep it's a nightmare anyway what is the depth of the outlet pipe? You're gonna, it's gonna, so if it's this, then it's gonna equal time, hassle, and money, okay? That's what that equals, okay? And that comes with an, typically an onion tank. You won't get away from it, that's how it is. I'm not demonizing onion tanks, I'm just being realistic with you. If it is from one, to three foot, then it's going to take less time, it's going to be less hassle, and it's going to cost less money. That <clears throat> uh, basically is the two main points of consideration. But this is the this is the big one here. What is the depth? of the outlet pipe. That question will determine the cost and the time and the feasibility of installing a septic tank and a soak away. So there you go, there's the first two points. Okay, so moving on now. So the next consideration is this. A digger. So number three, a digger. Now, <clears throat> if you can get, if you're fortunate, if you're a farmer, if you know, go farmers for, if you're fortunate enough to get a JCP, uh, they're the dream. <laughs> they're the dream diggers, they are. All right. JCB. 
if you can get a JCB, you're laughing. <laughs> Just like, you know, with a backhoe on there and a front bucket, you're looking at getting that most septic tanks in within an hour, right? Depending on how hard the ground is, obviously. But JCB is, um, they're the Rolls Royce of diggers. But if you don't own one, if you haven't got a spare like 50, 60, 70 grand and you don't own one, own one I don't own one. Um, then I suppose the downside of that is higher costs. They cost a lot to hire, higher costs, right? So they're, they're the first choice. They're choice number one. Coming down, typically uh, most people will get one and a half ton to three ton diggers, to three ton diggers, to put most domestic septic tanks in. Personally, if you're putting an onion tank in, you won't get it, won't get it done with a what because it's about the reach then of the digger reach, right? You need a minimum of a three ton digger, but personally, for me, right, my weapon of choice is the five ton digger. Obviously, they cost slightly more than the three ton, but they're a good compromise because <clears throat> they're small. They get into most gardens, most situations, most places like that, and um, they don't use a lot of fuel because they're strong. If the ground's hard, they can cut through it and break through it and dig those holes in. They're just man enough for me. I've used one and a half ton tons. I've used loads of one and a half ton diggers and three ton diggers, but for me, the weapon of choice is the five ton digger, which will just make your job bam like knife cutting through butter. They'll just make make it really easy. So, so in all of this, the, the factor of this is once you've determined the depth of the outlet pipe and the size of the hole, then it just boils down to higher costs, basically higher costs for the digger. All right, so that's the digger. Uh, another consideration is I would also, especially if it's going to be a job that's going to take you a week or so, factor in uh, an extra um, 20, 25 litres of diesel. And so when they drop the digger off for me, I always get them to drop another couple of tubs of diesel off you only pay for them if you use them. Um, and But the point is, if you are run out of diesel, I don't mean you're out, but you get low on diesel and you think, oh, no, I've got to get some diesel, and you've got to go and find a tub, and you've got to go to the garage, and you just want to dig your hole because it's going to rain soon and stuff like that, you know. But if you've got the tubs there, great. Make sure you get um, a funnel with it, and put the funnel in, you know, because if you've just got your – 25 litre thing they're very hard to tip into there and the diesel's going on the floor and but if you get a funnel it'll go into there so these little things you may not think about now but these are good little tips i'm giving you all right so what have we seen so far so number one we've got the tank choice all right so choice of tank number two we've got the soak away choice and number three you got your digger. So um, if I was to summarize this so far, this is just my opinion. I'm not being biased. It's not a sales pitch. It's just telling you how it is, right? I'd go for like a low profile. In fact, low profile, okay, everyone understands what low profile means, but there's an even better word to, um, to sum this up, shallow dig. I would go every time for a shallow dig, septic tank, something like the bullet. Why? Because they're just so easy to put in. They're ridiculously easy to put in. And they don't need any concrete. They just need gravel. All right? So they're really easy. Soak away choice. I'd go for a um, septic tank. Soak away crates. And... Uh, the easy drain, soak away every time. 
Why? Because of the space age technology. That's why. You can read tons of stuff on the internet. Oh, the, 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 but look, I've been doing this 20 years. I, 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 I can install septic tanks while I sleep. I'm an independent consultant. I consult for Building Works, an environmental agency. If you're asking me what are the best products on the market that all the top people are using right now, that's it. Simple as that. Okay, what digger would I go for? Ideally, I'd like to go for a JCB, but in reality, people budget. Five ton digger is fine. A JCB um, would be uh, <laughs> would be fantastic as a second choice if your budget can afford it. So there's your three main considerations if you're um, installing all of these you'll find that you're going to use standard four-inch pi orange pipework. Okay. Um, so that will connect to the house, and that will connect to your tank. So the four-inch pipework. All right. So, um, so you've got your house, and the pipework will go from the house to the tank, to a, a German silt chamber, and then from the German silt chamber, it'll go into the soak away. You're probably wondering now, what the heck is a German silt chamber? A German silt chamber is, it's like a manhole cover, but it's got a special filter inside, because what happens is, you get lots of debris from a house, right? You get, uh, so if we put debris, look. Uh, debris, you get sanitary towels. Uh, sanitary towels, yep. You get sanitary towels, how do you spell towels? You get uh, nappies. And you get baby wipes. And they all come from the house. They go down the pipes. They go into the tank, right? And then they go normally, if you haven't got a German silt chamber, they'll go straight into your silk coin, block it up. And over time they do. Then you have to get Dyna Rod out and pay Dyna Rod 600 quid to come and suck this out and suck that out and dig down to the pipes and cost you. All right, some will do it on the insurance, some won't, but it's a pain, it's a hassle. And while you're waiting for the job to get done, because you normally have to wait a week or two, right, for them to book it in and get someone to do it, you then got to get your septic tank emptied every couple of days, which is going to cost you one, two, three, four hundred pounds a week, easy peasy or more. Just for the sake of a horseshoe nail, right, the battle doesn't have to be lost. That's why I always recommend and sell a German silk chamber. It's, um, as I said, it's a chamber that goes in between the three. So there you go. There's your basic necessities. Necess necessities. Necessities. You can tell, right? I haven't got my teeth in and it's early in the morning. Those are the basic um, necessities. There you go. Tank choice. What is the depth of the outlet pipe? Before you ask anything else, you need to ascertain that. If it's three foot or more, <coughs> right, this is gonna be a hard job. That's the sliding scale. If it's one or two foot, oh man. Okay, this is gonna be, um, it's gonna be a nice job, right? Oh, if it's one foot, six inches to one foot, it's gonna be a breeze. Okay, so that's the sliding scale of hardness, right? Soak away choice. If it's one to two foot, oh man, easy drain or soak away crates every single time. Don't even think anything else, right? Digger, five ton digger, sorted, right? Onion tank, JCB man, or five ton digger, bare minimum. And then just your standard four inch pipe work, German silk chamber, and there you go. So I hope that's helped. Um, I've really enjoyed doing it today, actually, explaining about septic tank installation. So look, if you want some amazing products, here's the pitch. But no, no, no. If you want some amazing products, right, and you want a really easy time of installing a septic tank to be a breeze, right? Just go to septictank.co.uk. Even if you don't buy anything, look, 
the point is I've been doing this 20 years. I love septic tanks. I love helping people, right? The products that I sell on there are, are not, you know, are purely on there. I change them from time to time. I purely put them on there because they're all made for the DIY market. They're all um, uh, come with government certificates. They're all approved by UK Building Wave, right? They're very, very easy to put in, and they're great if you're on a budget. They're very strong. They're light, and they're fantastic, and they're the best-selling products in the UK. Okay, so septictank.co.uk. Um, let me just see if I can show you that again. Uh, okay, hold on. I know it's gone weird, but just bear with me a second. There we go. There's my site, septictank.co.uk. Uh, there's the bullet tanks I was telling you about. Let me just show you that quickly. So there's the bullet septic tank there. There you go. Look at that. That's what it looks like. Just, oh, man, they're just fantastic. Look, let me just show you this. The bullet septic tank is one of the easiest tanks in the UK to install thanks to its low profile, shallow dig design. This amazing septic tank will just take you under an hour to get in the ground. There you go. So you can see it's really, really easy to install. Okay, so let me just put this back. Okay, so the bullet septic tank, shallow dig septic tank, or the septic tank soak away crates or the easy drain. I've showed you those already. Then a five ton digger, and you're away. If you're doing it yourself with the bullet tank, the crates, I reckon you'll start at nine and you'll be done by 12. The worst bit about septic tank, you can't make an omelet right, without breaking eggs. So the worst bit about installing a septic tank is, I wouldn't say it's the worst, it's the most time consuming, is tidying up the garden. All right, because because you know uh, when I first put my first septic tank in twenty years ago, my wife had spent twenty five years making the garden beautiful, and in one hour, boom, it looked like the Somme, you know. So that can be um, <laughs> for the women. That can be a hard part about septic tank installation. But the point I'm making is is that tidying it all up is, is is worse than actually installing the septic tank. Although I don't mind tidying up, but it's the most um, uh, time consuming part of the job. So there you go, I hope that's helped. Thank you very much for uh, watching the live broadcast today. Um, I'll be back later with another live broadcast, but in the meantime, I hope this helped. If you want any more questions or uh, answered or want any more free advice, then, as I said, just go to septictank.co.uk, give me a ring. Um, if you want some of the best products in the UK, just I've shown you what they are. And uh, I hope you can now make an informed decision. So, once again, thank you very much for watching this broadcast, and I will see you soon.